Hello friends, my name is Vasim and I welcome you all to this channel Bank for You. So friends, in this video I will be discussing how to score 70 plus marks in IBPS, RLB, PO as well as CLERP pre-2019 exam. Okay, so as you all know, IBPS, RLB, PO and CLERP examination is scheduled to be held in the month of August. So IBPS will be throwing so many surprises in front of the students. So to crack this examination, you must strategize your preparation strategy beforehand. A documented, a well documented and comprehensive strategy will help you to score a minimum of 70 plus marks in the examination. Okay, so if prepared smartly, so scoring 70 plus marks in IBPS RRB exam is not very difficult. So, you, you know, taking cutoff is also not sufficient, friends. So, all you need to do is you need to work on those areas where you fail or the subjects in which you are not good at. Okay, so. To know the strategy to score 70 plus marks in the IBPS RRB 2019 exam, so let us first uh, look at the various sections and weight that each section carries in the examination. So the IBPS RRB office assistant as well as uh, you know uh, the uh, PO, the, that is officer scale 1 exam consists of reasoning ability and numerical ability or let me put here, it's reasoning and numerical ability or quant okay these two sections will be having so each of these section will be having 40 questions from i mean 40 questions so you need to solve this exam that is total of uh, 80 questions from uh, these two subjects you have to clear it in just 45 minutes so it is noteworthy that uh, 40 questions will be asked in each subject and you will have to attempt them in 45 minutes that means you have a less time to attempt a, a particular question. There is a less than a minute to attempt a particular question. So plan your strategy in a way that you will be able to attempt at least 35 questions in each subject. So we, we shall discuss the tricks and tips that you need to follow to score good marks in the examination. Okay. So here is the some of the tips. The first one is plan your exam strategy beforehand. So plan your exam strategy beforehand. So to score high marks in the examination, so firstly you need to do, you need to attempt only those questions which are very easy. So then you have to go ahead with the questions which are very difficult if time permits. Otherwise, firstly it is always advisable to try to solve the questions which are very easy. So and one more thing you need to keep in mind is that if some questions are asked, I mean the doable questions are asked in the previous year. So you need to check out the previous year memory based papers as well. So if let's say there are 20, 30 questions were doable in quantitative aptitude, then you need, to, you need to attempt 30 plus 5 questions. So if it is 20 questions in reasoning, you need to attempt at least 20 plus 5 questions this year. Okay, yeah, this strategy you need to be uh, familiar with. Okay, uh, don't waste your time at all if uh, you get stuck on one particular question. So move on to the other question. Remember the clock is ticking, so that is why it is not advisable to waste your time on one single question. So don't challenge it and don't try to solve the question or only one single question. So if you, if it is not done, don't worry. You just have some other remaining questions, you just can try it out. Okay. And try attempting all the questions with 100% accuracy. This is most important. 100% accuracy is important. So if it is English, you may not get to know whether you are doing with accuracy or not, but then it because it is reasoning and quantity aptitude, you can get to know the idea uh, that uh, whether you are doing it correctly or not. So that is why maintain 100% accuracy that is most important. The second tip is that time management. So time management is very essential. So you need to comprehend how to manage your time in IBPS RRB exam. So you can take a look at IBPS RRB uh, previous year cutoff or PO or clerk and get an idea how to span out your time in the exam. So you, need to, you should be able to manage your time properly both during the exam as well as uh, you know before the exam as well. So the timing to attempt both these sections is 45 minutes. So the timing is 45 minutes. So and uh, you need to uh, manage this time very efficiently. So see here friends, it is always my advisable. So advice that uh, you need to make sure in which is your strong subject, whether quant or reasoning. So whether quant or reasoning, which section is your strong? Let's say if you are, re you are strong at reasoning, then attempt quant first and take only 20 minutes to solve it and I will be telling you which questions you need to take up first afterwards 
you just uh, once you are done with 20 minutes you just go to reasoning section and attempt uh, all those questions which you can able to attempt by 25 minutes okay let's say you are not good at reasoning so then you take up first 20 minutes to solve reasoning questions then go ahead immediately after that you go ahead with the quantitative aptitude and spend 25 minutes on quantitative aptitude so that you can able to score more marks in the examination i hope it is clear to you and make sure that uh, you practice mock test of quizzes within this time frame during the preparation as well so this is about time management the next one is concept clearance so concept clearance so the pattern for the bank exam has been varying for the past two years so just mucking up the formula would not take you anywhere okay so you need to understand the concept okay uh, you need to be very clear with the basic concepts of different topics if you wish to get past in the examination or to crack the uh, you know cut off so ensure that you utilize this time to clear out all your doubts uh, if, if you have any doubts the, those doubts from different topics of the section as in the examination so uh, just mugging up the formula is not enough so you have to practice you have to understand the concept you have to you have to be clear with the concept so uh, that is most important so the next tip is that online mock test so as you all know the mock test serves as a pre-test more likely a rehearsal one uh, i mean once the entire course of study has been covered so, so it it helps it, it acts as a, a rehearsal for you okay so mock test mock test tell you uh, the amount of preparation you need and uh, permit you to gauge where you stand and once uh, where, where you stand once once you finish up your ibps rlb exam okay it is the most effective tool which may facilitate you to attend at least 75 70 plus questions and uh, it will provide a chance to induce consciousness of the online test okay ibps rlb mock test enable you to manage time efficiently help uh, you to identify the sections which need more of your time and energy where you need to improve your accuracy okay so that's most important and the next one is that uh, section wise strategy so in section wise strategy first one numerical ability or quants okay numerical ability or quants so the important topics here is the first topic is number series so try to attempt at least three to four questions from this so don't waste much time on it give it a single try if it is not done not done just move on to the next question skip it and go okay so don't challenge it and don't uh, hang on with the question the next important topic is simplification or approximation okay here a calculation speed matters a lot here so the more you practice the more you excel okay revise all the tricks of simplification as well as approximation do not be overconfident don't be nervous okay don't be panic in the examination so if you are overconfident you cannot be able to do it if you are nervous then also you can you cannot be able to do it be confident and try to attempt the questions so at least 10 to 15 questions will be there so you can make it very easily 10 to 15 questions is a very you know high number so practice well simplifications from now itself the next one is data interpretation so revise the basic concepts of profit and loss average ratios uh, your calculation mm, will make you uh, how you make uh, data interpretation so practice data interpretation a lot the next one is quadratic equations quadratic equations okay so this is a very easy topic if you have practiced well so all that you need to do is uh, you need to find the relationship between the variables of uh, x and y okay so quadratic equation is very easy friends so once i mean remember one thing don't put the formula here so don't put the formula here so if you are going to spoil put formula here you are going to uh, spoil much of your time so don't do that don't put the formula so try it in the smart way and uh, after that you know miscellaneous questions or arithmetic based questions like uh, you know profit and loss percent ages averages time and work time distance and speed uh, you know after that simple and test compound test boat and stream so one question will be there from each of these topic so you can do that as well but then uh, you know uh, if you are done with all these four sections okay then go ahead with the uh, you know arithmetic based questions uh, in which the time you are fixed okay so that is the most important thing that you need to keep in mind so and uh, you know try to attempt 30 plus questions from this topic so 30 plus questions from this section uh, and spend uh, 20 to 22 minutes so 20 to 22 minutes 20 to 22 minutes okay 
don't make wild guesses here. Be quick and accurate with your calculations here. Right? This is about numerical ability. So if you look into the reasoning ability here, so the first important topic is syllogism. So in syllogism, there will be some in five to six cases should be there. So if you are going to prepare those five to six cases, you can able to score five out of five from this particular topic. So I just expect that direct direct question should be asked. What is direct question? So some state, statement should be given based on those statements. You need to check out whether those statements uh, follow. Uh, some, some conclusions should be there. So we need to check out whether those conclusions follow the statements or not. Okay. So after that inequality, it is one of the easiest topics. Inequality. So it will not take you more than one and a half minutes. Okay. So make sure to do this. So always it is advisable to try inequalities first. Okay. After that, alpha numeric series. Okay. So in alpha numeric series, there are two types. So in the first one, uh, they used to give like symbols, numbers, and alphabets. The second, they'll give uh, you know some numbers or alphabets. So uh, both are easy. Uh, but then you need to know how to do that and follow the instructions which are given in the question. Okay. Just understand the tone of the question and answer accordingly. Okay. Alphabet, uh, alpha numeric series is very easy. Only thing is you need to you need to have patience and while solving the questions. Okay. So the next one is uh, you know coding and decoding. So coding and decoding. The whole, I just expect that whole pattern of questions should be asked. Okay. The next one is miscellaneous questions in miscellaneous blood relations, ranking, distance, di direction. So single question should be asked from there. From uh, you know alphabets, single question from numbers would be asked. So the level of such questions will be very easy. So try to attempt all the questions as in the miscellaneous sections as well. So apart from that, one more important topic is that which is having a high weightage is uh, seating arrangement and puzzles. Okay. So I, if you are good at seating arrangement and puzzles, it is not like you should not study for those concept. So unless you don't be in touch with uh, seating arrangement and puzzles, so you cannot able to make it in the exam. So you need to be, uh, you know, uh, in touch with uh, seating arrangements and puzzles here. Okay. In this, uh, you will be asked questions like circular arrangement, linear arrangement, floor based puzzle, box based puzzle, and so on. So uh, you know, attempt them quickly by figuring out the information given in the question and connect the information. Uh, uh, thereby, so that you can make it very easily. Okay, so uh, it is always advisable to do inequality first, then syllogism, then alpha numeric series, if any, then coding and decoding, uh, then miscellaneous questions. After that, go for seating arrangement if time permits. So otherwise, uh, don't do seating arrangements and puzzles in the beginning itself. Okay, and uh, you know you have to uh, attempt at least 30 to 35 questions from this particular section. And the time to be devoted to this section is 22 to 25 minutes. 22 to 25 minutes based on your priority. Okay. So don't do any guesswork here as well. If you are going to stuck on one single question, so without dwelling too much on time, so just go ahead with the other questions. So this is about reasoning ability, friends. So all that you need to do is you need to follow uh, these points in order to score more than 70 marks in your LPS RRB exam. So uh, start your preparation and watch out the result that you have been waiting for. Okay, so prepare smart, score better. All the best for your exam. So this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead. So before ending up this session, I request you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with your friends, and if you have any doubts, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead.